So today we're going to talk about how to install Smart STB app on your TV and how to configure it in order to use IPTV service through Smart STB. Smart STB is one of the most stable apps. Uh, if you have a Samsung LG Smart TV, it supports just two models. Uh, but recently with the new update, it also supports some Android TVs as well. Um, but in terms of the regular Smart TV, if you have then only Samsung and LG are supported um, it, uh, other than the Android TVs that you might have from any brand, um, then that would be supported as well. So step number one is finding the app and installing the app. So if you have an LG or a, smart, a Samsung Smart TV like I have an LG here for the demonstration today. So we're going to go to the app store that, you, that comes inbuilt with the Samsung or LG Smart TV. And you're gonna go down here, press the search icon, and then since I have already searched it latest, so you're gonna start typing smart. And as you can see in the search result, I already get the recommended search result as smart STB, and I can just go and select that. So now on this TV, it's already installed, so I don't need to install it again. But if you are installing it first time, you press OK here. And then you install it. And once you install it, the app will start opening up. Here you see the message, press OK. Press the OK button from your remote. So when you install this app for first time and it started loading, you see the press OK sign. Press OK sign right there. And why we need to do that is to get into the settings. So the, by getting into the settings, we get the information that we need to provide to our IPTV provider who can then help us setting up the trial and uh, help you with the IPTV activation uh, after that. So now I'm going to select system settings. Then here, there are two main important things here. So in order to set up smart STB, um, you need to get to the device info section where you get the necessary information that you need to provide to your IPTV provider for setting up the trial. Now, the trial of Smart STB is set up on the website, on their smartstb.net uh, website. So if you're doing it yourself, then it's pretty straightforward. You go to that website and you use this information to activate the trial as long as you have an IPTV provider who has provided you the portal URL and then uh, on this page, the software ID is the information that you would need in order uh, for you to register on the smartstb.net website. Um, and then the virtual MAC address is something that you need to provide to your IPTV provider. So once you do that, the IPTV provider, whoever is setting the smartstb account for you, they will provide you an activation code. So that activation code goes here. And once you enter the activation code, um, it should be all good to um, start um, the application now. Sometimes the when you enter the uh, information on the Smart STB website, it automatically auto identify, and then you don't need to enter the activation code here manually. But uh, if you do have to, then this is the area where you do that. So really, two main sections: device info and activation code. What you need here. So if you want a trial from us, you just provide us the device info screenshot and then we take it from there. So now I'm going to, um, let's say it has been set up. You press restart portal and then again, this will pop up. This time we're not going to select the OK uh, because now the trial has been already set up and it will start loading the portal directly. So really basically to sum up uh, what we did here was first time when we started loading it says press ok we press the ok button to get the necessary information that we need to provide to our iptv provider to, for us to get the trial um, but second time when you see the message again you don't need to press it again even if you press it you can select the customer pool custom portal there option that will show up but uh, second time you really don't need to do that so here it is now we have the iptv here you get the video section, you get all the languages, um, all the channels that are here, um, 
and then you see all the video club content all the movies tv shows um everything is here so basically your iptv is all set now and good to go now keep in mind smart stb do charge you a uh, one-time fee for buying the license a uh, lifetime license or you can get their monthly license i always advise to buy a lifetime license for 30 usd uh, rather than buying a monthly license for 5 usd so uh, that's important uh, second thing to note is that if something happens to your tv smart stb subscription can be transferred for once if you have a lifetime subscription uh, but only one time you can transfer it to the new tv and um, the condition is that the new tv that you're going to transfer the subscription should also be a samsung or lg tv so uh, that's a little bit caveat over there so it definitely saves you some money um, when compared to buying a box for 100 or dollars you can get something set up for 30 40 or dollars so uh, saves you money up front but then the pain point is that you would end up in some scenarios where um, your t something goes wrong with your TV or you buy a TV which is not Samsung or LG, then that license is basically worthless after that and you might have to end up buying the box again. Now, one other thing people ask us, should I get a smart STB app versus um, buying a box? Now, I'm gonna do another video which is gonna explain you the difference between these two. Um, and uh, I will, I'll try to get into the details of that. But for today's demonstration, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, what do you need to provide us in order to get your uh, Smart STB trial? And that's it for now. Thank you everyone for watching.